So neuroscience is this fascinating field where we look at what's happening inside the brain. And social neuroscience is about what happens in your brain when you're with other people. And it turns out that so much of human experience, of human performance, you know, our ability to be creative, to come up with new ideas, depends on the people that are around us. And so there's a lot that we can learn from neuroscience about how do we create teams where people can be innovative, where they can be more creative, um, but also where we can live happier, healthier lives, get the work done, um, but also do it in a way that we actually end up healthier at the end of the day than the start. So if we're wanting to keep up with technology and we're actually wanting to innovate and make the future that we all want, we have to have a different way of, of how we work with each other, how we treat each other and, and also how we treat ourselves. Uh, I think the most important message I think is that uh, the human brain is social. We're not actually designed to work by ourselves. Um, individuals aren't resilient, but teams can be. Um, some individuals are creative, but by and large the best ideas make it into reality when people work together to make it happen. And there's lots that neuroscience can teach us about how to create environments where, where that's possible.